bringing him down? Can I question him? Well, it's not that simple, Herb. Oh, come on, Ray. Let's forget the red tape. Adrian LaRue is the key to Dorian's case. He helped Mitch Lawrence kidnap and drug Cassie by getting him to testify. That's a that big if. Fun. What do you mean? Is he already pleading the fifth? You better brace yourself. Mr. LaRue doesn't know the Fifth Amendment from the Ten Commandments, or the Three Little Pigs, for that matter. Well, you can see for yourself. He's on his way now. Hi. I did it. He told me to do it, and I did it. I bet those guys are in stitches now. <laughs> and now we can all go on a picnic to the coma with Grandma. Mm -hmm. You've been like this ever since he got off the plane? Yes, sir. These are his effects. Oh, no, 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 no. Those things aren't important. Only Brother Mitch is important. Ah, yes. He is the power and the glory and the ever-loving wisdom of the, and the all-meat burger with the little onions and the mustard and the relish and all the... But you really shouldn't look in those little hamburgers because they're pretty disgusting inside. We should probably be bowing now, shouldn't we? Uh, Adrian, Mr. LaRue... I am the god of hellfire and I want to hold your hand. Oh. I am holding your hand. Mm -hmm. Are you experienced? I think you are. Take another little piece of my heart now, baby. Hmm? Uh, don't waste your time, Herb. They're never going to let this character into a courtroom, much less let him testify under oath. They're here. They're back. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to Southport. I, I'm sure we should be bowing now, shouldn't we? Get him out of here, Jim, huh? Come on, Dizzy. Back to the bullpen. Baseball? Yay! Uh, forgive them, Grandma, for they know that, that they had to wear a tie. <laughs> dress for death, fellas. Dress for death. It's so formal, but dress for death. I'm sorry, Herb. Yeah, I'm not half as sorry as I am. Lorraine had her hopes up, so I'm not going to tell her. Did you see this? What's so special about it? The Ravenswood Hotel. Why don't you see, Ray? may be the place where Mitch and Adrian took Cassie. Come on, let's get out of here. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joe Riley's history? Any chronic disorders, anything like that? Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, there was one rather serious disorder earlier in his life. He had amnesia. Amnesia? Mm-hmm. Well, please, tell me more, Doctor. Well, it was just before, I guess before Vicky's... Uh, Vicky oh, Riley. Larry. Oh, Clint, oh, Mr. Clint? Roberts. Have they brought Cord Roberts in yet? No, we're we're waiting to hear from the, the airport. Are you okay? No, he isn't, Doctor. I wish you would tell him to go home and rest. <sighs> Just a little fever. I know I shouldn't have left you up there in the mountains. Well, after you left, he certainly took a turn for the worst. You've seen a doctor, I hope. Yeah, he said with a little rest, I'll be fine. So why don't you go home and rest? <laughs> with Cord coming in? And this article I've been working on now. Uh... Have you ever seen a more stubborn man in your life? Yes, every time I look in the mirror. Tell me something, Clint. Do they uh, stop printing the paper every time the uh, actor gets a little sick? Is that it? No, no. And with Dorian's uh, confession, i got to see that story through to the bitter end. I can't just trust that to anybody. Yeah, how about a writer from Texas? Who, you mean you? I thought uh, you came here to get away from work. Well, I have a lot of things on my mind, certainly. But perhaps it would do me good to sit down and knock a story out of the typewriter. Well, if you mean that, I'll just take you up on it. Oh, I do. I didn't know better. This is like deja vu. I mean, Clint Buchanan and Joe Riley talking over a newspaper Tom, story. Tom, let me fill you in on the details. Excuse me. Thanks, sure. Yeah. Dr. Wallach, do you think that I could maybe go wait down at the emergency room? I'd like to be there the moment he gets here. I think you'd be more comfortable waiting here. I tell you what, let me check. Uh, I'll get right back to you. Oh, check me there. Uh, look, before I, uh, I talked to you about Dorian, were you able to get through to your daughter? Well, they're, uh, they're reprogramming her right now. Oh. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Marilyn Dennison. I'm her father. She's uh, busy right now. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, yes, I have a subpoena. Your daughter's been called as a witness for the prosecution in the murder of Mitch Lawrence. I would like to think of myself as a very strong woman. A woman who is capable of handling any crisis at all. And that is the way I felt when I opened the door and I saw Mitch getting ready to rape you. I grabbed the heaviest thing that I could find and I hit him on the head. When I saw that I had killed him, my first thought, sweetheart, my first thought was to protect my daughter. What you did to protect me worked against me. Why didn't you speak up right away? You're right, I deserve that. Well, I never dreamed that they would arrest you. 
when, when you told me that nobody knew that you were at the inn, I just thought we could both get away from there and leave Mitch and the whole ugly business oh, well, behind wait us. Wait a minute. What about when Dad showed you the earring and then Allison came forward and said that she had seen me there? You still kept silent. Yes. Because I wanted the police to believe that somebody else had entered the room and killed Mitch. I certainly didn't feel the need to point out to them that I did. Honey, I, I thought that when they got finished questioning you, they'd never believe that you were guilty. Of course, I was wrong. But darling, as soon as I found out that they had booked you, I went straight to Bill Moore and I told him that I had killed Mitch Lawrence. And he didn't believe you? No. He didn't believe me. Neither did Pete, neither did Herb, neither did the special prosecutor. Yes, and neither did I. I thought you were lying to protect me, but you only did it because you were scared for yourself. <laughs> I was lying to protect us both. Because I certainly wasn't ready, nor am I ready now, to throw away my life for the likes of Mitch Lawrence. Baby, I swear to you, I never thought that they would arrest you or put you through any of this. When I finally did speak up, nobody believed me. Honey, I have only one prayer right now. And that is that you'll try to understand why I did what I did. And forgive me. Please. Nobody's perfect, right? I love you. I love you very much. And because of that love, I did something very stupid. Uh, I better get that. It could be your father with some good news. <clears throat> Dorian Lord speaking. Hi, baby. How are you holding up? Well, <laughs> just fine now that you've called. Uh, have you had a chance to talk to Adrian LaRue? Uh. He did the talking, we just listened. I don't understand, what are you trying to tell me? Uh, it, it's, it's just not all there. I, I, I'm sorry, darling, I'm afraid he won't be any help to us. Oh, no. What happened? <sighs> Your father is saying that Adrian LaRue will not be of any help to me, and so I suppose no, 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 nobody no, else on. will don't, either. Don't abandon ship just yet, all right? Mr. LaRue may have provided some assistance indirectly. Herb, come on, would you please be honest but with I me? I am being honest. Look, he, he had a matchbook in his pocket with the name of a hotel on it. And, um, kind of guessing that that's where Mitch was holding Cassie. What hotel? <laughs> the charming sounding spot called the Ravenswood. And if we can find some proof there that Cassie was kidnapped and held against her will, we're in good shape. Then that would prove that I killed Mitch in order to protect Cassie's life. Right. Herb! You're a genius. Oh, <laughs> that is the absolute truth, my darling. Now, look, uh, tell Cassie to get over and meet us as fast as she can. Maybe she can help us find what we're looking for, okay? Yes, I'll tell her. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, sweetheart, uh, does the Ravenswood Hotel sound familiar to the you? The Ravenswood, yeah. It's, it's some flea bag joint right next to the waterside inn. Why? Well, Herb says that he thinks that's where Mitch Lawrence took you. Baby, you think you could stand to go back there and look at it? Yeah, I'll, I'll get over there right away if it's going to help your case. Oh, darling, thank you. Thank but you Mom, so much. I just hope they have proof to get you off this. Thank I love you. you. I love you.